Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. So the mainstream media is at long last, finally talking about the exodus from Protestant religions as opposed to Catholic, especially evangelical youths. A recent Wall Street Journal article, and you have a link to it right here, goes into detail about the headlong rush to the exits by young people sitting in evangelical megachurches. The reason they are leaving? No substance. Lots of cool concerts and jumbotrons and social activities and an absolute poverty of substance. In this regard, Protestantism and modernist Catholicism seem to have a lot in common. For modernists in the Catholic Church, the tactic has been to be cool, hip, up to date, never challenging, turn mass into a performance rather than the entering into of the mysteries of the faith. But there is one significant difference between Catholics and Protestants. No matter what they do, however amped up their worship services are, no matter how they, many they pack into their ginormous auditorium, in the end, what is said will always end up unfulfilling in Protestant denominations. Perhaps the mega-pastors are well-intentioned, and let's not overlook the very real possibility that many of them are not. But in either case, they simply have rejected or do not yet know the fullness of truth as held and loved in the Catholic Church. And since the philosophical maxim always holds true, you cannot give what you do not have, they will always end up giving their audiences, and that is what they are, audiences, less than what they truly desire. But young people in these mega communities, like young people everywhere, they're impatient. They'll come for a while to tap their toes and wave their arms and high five each other. They'll belt out the pop rock sounding, good feeling, sappy sentimental lyrics as the cool band pounds out and bangs and strums it all out. They'll scream hallelujah and amen and glory to the rafters. And after all that emotion, they'll leave. Why? Because artificially created emotional responses are ultimately empty. In fact, it wouldn't be surprising if many former megachurch attendees actually feel a bit ashamed or even duped, kind of embarrassed about the experience. When 70% of young people, and that's people between 18 and 22, simply leave a religion, it's good night Gracie for that religion. Now, this phenomenon has been happening in the Catholic Church for a while. The modernist crowd has been watering down the faith for a couple of generations. In fact, long before the rock band concerts in Protestant halls, Catholic folk groups were up in the sanctuary leading the parish in a rousing rendition of some Joan Baez or Carol King song that served as the opening hymn. It was all about trying to evoke an emotion, and it is useless. Many of the evangelicals are now discovering that. Emotion only carries you so far. Now, many of our viewers know I graduated from Notre Dame. When Lou Holtz was the coach at ND, he used to say all the hype and energy and emotion before a game was good because it kept the players focused during practice. But once the game itself began, the emotion essentially peters out and it was the meat and potatoes of what you learned and did in practice that carried you across the goal line and ultimately to victory. Well said, Lou. Emotion is a tool, not an end. When you are studying the history of the church or reading about the lives of the saints or focused in on the intellectual life of the church, you react emotionally. You are overcome with awe and the realization that here is the truth. You are stimulated far beyond whatever some rock band could ever produce. Protestant emotion appeals to very little at the end of the day. Catholic emotion appeals to the soul because the soul is starving for truth and the truth of the Catholic faith never loses its appeal when it is expressed boldly and clearly as our blessed Lord and the apostles did. It challenges you like nothing else in this universe is capable of. It treats you like the man you were created to be. It excites the mind. It fills you with strength and courage, it emboldens the will, it ennobles the person, it changes lives, and in the end, it produces saints. That's much better than some rock concert. I'm Michael Voris.